Psalm 119 verse 105 tells us this, your word is a lamp for my feet and a light on my path. I have loved this verse as long as I can remember. At least since I was seven years old and my favorite artist at the time, Amy Grant, released a beautiful worship song that was rooted in this passage of scripture. Now, I've used this verse a lot of times in my writing and it is a great reminder to us of the importance of going to God's word. But because it was familiar to me, I never really dug deeper into what the psalmist was trying to tell us here. I um, understood uh, that lamp to my feet and light to my path were just redundant. I thought that they were one of those, as, as is often re repetitions in the Psalms, are just a beautiful poetic way of saying the same thing twice. But here in this verse, there are two distinctively different messages. The first one is that God's word is a lamp to our feet. Now our feet indicate where we are currently. This lamp to our feet allows us to be present. And I don't know about you, but often when God reveals just a little bit of the path ahead of me, I am eager to run headlong towards what he has for me. And that's good stuff, but in doing so, I often miss out on what he has for me in the present. Friend, our purpose is not tied up in our five-year plan. Each of us has a unique individual right now purpose. We have the opportunity to make an impact where we are in the lives of the people that God brings to us every day. And let's not miss that opportunity today. And the second message in this verse is that God's word is a light to our paths. And our paths are that place where we move forward, the plans that God has for us. And each of us has a unique kingdom purpose. And while we have a common final destination in heaven, the paths that we each take during our time on earth is different according to our calling and our giftings and our unique circles of influence. Now, there are innumerable good works where we can dedicate our time and our energy and our resources. But in order to follow God's perfect will for our lives, we need to understand the unique assignments that he has planned for each of us. And God promises to reveal this to us, his particular plan for our individual lives in due season as we seek him in prayer and in his word. No, it's a difficult balance. It's not easy. But as we are immersed in God's word, we can both be present and effective in the right now while preparing and looking ahead to what God has in the future.